this is the story of Dick Whittington, who lived a long, long time ago in a country called England. Dick was very, very poor. He lived in the village of Poppin Full of Squares, and the townspeople had two pastimes, laughing at Dick <laughs> and singing of London. Oh, London town is made of gold, made of gold, made of gold. London town is made of gold, my fair lady. The townspeople <laughs> chanted this ditty constantly, day in and day out. Taking everything into consideration, they were quite foolish people. So one day, Dick, feeling quite cheeky, said, You are quite foolish people. And left for London town to tip loose a few cobblestones of gold so that he might have the last laugh on the people of Poppin' Full of Squares. Ah, uh, what are you doing? I am loosening a cobblestone of gold. Cobblestones of gold? This is London, isn't it? Yeah. Then this is a cobblestone of gold. Well, uh, if this is London town, as you say, then most certainly that is a cobblestone of gold. However, if it does happen to be an ordinary cobblestone, here is my card. Dick rushed off with the cobblestones he had pried loose, but found that he could purchase neither food nor drink with them. Perhaps now I can be of assistance. My card. When I start taking advice from a cat, I knew they were rocks anyway. Here now, here now! Vandals, robbers! Oh, oh, thank you, young man. It's getting so you can't walk down the street at night anymore. But come along. You must have dinner with me. In the course of the evening, Dick was offered a job in Mr. Fitzwarren's household. It didn't pay much, but it was better than shipping up rocks. So, Dick took the job of errand boy. Hello. My name is Miss Alice. Oh. <laughs> Dick decided that he'd be very happy in Mr. Fitzwarren's household, and he would, too, except for one thing. Mr. Fitzwarren was sailing for another kingdom on an extremely important mission. Everyone in the household was giving Mr. Fitzwarren a going-away gift. Alas, poor Dick, he had nothing to give him, and he wanted to make a good impression on Miss Alice. Well, show me the gift, Cat. How are you looking at it? Mainly me. So a good impression was made on both Mr. Fitzwarren and Miss Alice. The Queen of the Kingdom, to which Mr. Fitzwarren was hurrying, had named their kingdom London, too. And upon finding out that there already was a London, the Queen became very unhappy. Upon seeing the Queen unhappy, the Prime Minister became unhappy, and then the Parliament. And when the Parliament becomes very unhappy, everybody becomes very unhappy, and eventually everybody looked like the unhappy Queen, even the King. To solve this crisis was Mr. Fitzwarren's mission, which became even more of a crisis when he found his face changing, too. The Queen was fit to be tied. It's all your fault. If you hadn't named that city of yours London, this never would have happened. Now we can't call our kingdom our own or our faces. Uh, 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 uh. Not so fast. All is not lost. My card. But I don't want a face. I have a face. But, uh, just look at this face. Mm, it's a beautiful face, but it's not my face. That face is a happy face. Your face is a sad face. You're unhappy because you cannot name your kingdom London. When you are happy, the happy face will be yours. But what can I do? I so love the name London. And you shall have the name Nodnall, which is London spelt backwards. And so the name was changed to Nodnoll, and the Nodnolians regained their happy faces, and the queen became the most beautiful woman in the kingdom. We are indebted to you and your cat. Four ships filled with gold are yours for helping us. So Mr. Fitzwarren and the cat said goodbye to the Nodnolians and returned to London town and gave Dick the money. Right on my foot! For Mr. Fitzwarren knew that the money would be in the family anyway, for the next day, Dick married Miss Alice and called her Miss Alice from that day forward. And she called him Mr. Whittington, which all their friends found a little stuffy. But with all that money, <laughs> who cared? The following spring, Dick became Lord Mayor of London, and so had the last laugh on the village of Poppin Full of Squares. In the village of Poppin' Full of Squares, the people never sang their song of London Town. Well, Governor, you'd, you'd hardly expect us to sing London Town is Full of Rocks. And never again did they laugh at Dick Whittington or anything else, for that matter. But the story does have a happy ending, though. For the next year, ice cream was invented, and everyone lived happily ever after. Mm -hmm.